What's going on guys, today I'm gonna actually show you how you can make a thumbnail like this. Now if you're a Fortnite YouTuber or just a normal YouTuber and found this video, this video is definitely for you because you can teach how actually to make a thumbnail, which is the most important thing you can actually do on all videos. So be sure to watch until the end. Enjoy. So here we're gonna start off, you know, just click the new, go to Photoshop, do everything else and then type Fortnite thumbnail for example. So I'm just gonna, you know, you see this blank thing, then you want to find, um, I don't know, maybe a random picture, for example, I want this game, so I'll put like this, for example. Now, another thing I have is, well, basically, actually just go to blur, Gaussian blur, and then click 3.6, about 2.8, whatever is your preference. Now, the next thing I have is a lot of stuff here, so you also have like some... So I'll just go here and go maybe choose a nice... I use American Captain mostly because it's the best one. Make uh, And then we have the third one. I actually usually have only two. Because the more text you have, the more layers you have, the harder it is to actually do everything. But you'll probably use like two, so... Here we first have... The, it Now if you see here, it's completely, completely black. Now what you want to do is go click the color overlay and choose like a color, for example this, or you can also go to gradient overlay, which is basically like a pattern, for example I'll go with this one. And then for stroke you just want to find a nice like, you can make it like really simple or you can make it a really big stroke, so I'll just make it like this, and then you want to click shift and everything change it to like this and Sutterola and G so you press it it goes into a group now next thing oh I don't need this actually now you have like the three layers so you have to finish these two go here just do the same thing to every one of these basically your preference you know so you want to make sure they are like aligned otherwise it would look really fucking dumb uh, well, I'll go here, blending options, color overlay, and stroke, here we go, and make this as well the same. It's really up to your preference though, like, my thumbnail is not the nicest right now, this is done pretty fast. Now the next thing you want to do is like some sort of character, or some sort of, I don't know, Something that will tell you about your genre. So, for example, you can put a PNG camera or something like that. So, I'll just put, let me see what I can find here. Go here, CTRL plus T, and go this, go here and press 200 and 200 if you want to resize. So, be sure you know so you don't get it like really stupidly stretched out. Now, you want to put this behind the text because otherwise it covers the text. And now you're going to hold blending options stroke and here we go stroke to i mean white or black whatever prefer prefer you can also have no stroke but i like to have stroke because it goes well with the video anyway here we have it and now we go we go improve this a little you see how it's super fucking weird well uh we gotta improve this how to so maybe you know i i'd rather have it green for example let's go here choose color overlay and done and now it's green and well now you think everything is done well not really it looks a bit bland doesn't it so now you want to add some you know fire or something like that so what i'll add is actually you know i have a lot of variety here you might not have as much but some fire would be fine so i'll just put some fire here let me just close this and this so some fire would help me out a lot let me, let me choose just yeah this fire is is nice enough now you want to drag this out click here a hey, here we have a nice fire you know it just makes the picture a lot more simple we also have like some lightning here but don't overdo it, the most important thing is like, don't just put millions of them, it will make it look uglier. Now, 
I don't have many of these, so I guess this uh, like two will do. Just be sure to don't do not overdo it. And yep, here we go. Now we d we aren't finished yet because we have to improve this by a lot. Let me see. We have to put this behind. You know, it doesn't. It must go over the text, behind the text, and it also has to go behind the character. Now it's much nicer and well another thing you want to do is maybe I don't know this side is a bit bland it has to be something opposite of the background so it can be blue otherwise it looks super non pretty and you have to make it much as pretty as possible also try to be a lively color like not a I don't know like for example it, it mustn't be so black here we go looks a bit nicer doesn't it now I just have to align this and maybe make this a bit smaller actually made this too big so yeah be sure to subscribe for more Fortnite content thank you so much for watching and this will also help you if you're not a Fortnite youtuber or anything but yeah guys this is Fatman sign out <laughs>